Good evening, and welcome to Ms. Jordan's third grade reading intervention group B. Now, we will be uh, going over this article and doing our big idea for this article, but unfortunately, we won't get a chance to do the questions for this article uh, because we have no school on Friday because it's field day. Yay! I'm so excited, and you should be too. Uh, so, so, I want you to go ahead and take a look at this article, and I want you to go ahead and Use your plan of attack. We're just going to uh, read the article and do our big idea. So you should be looking for all of your text features right now. Pause the video and find all of your text features, and then we'll come back and confirm them together. All right, so here we go. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a look at my title, which says Tea Time. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually go ahead and number my paragraphs. I see something here that says figure one. That's important. Then I'm going to box in uh, the photograph and I'm going to come down and box in what we call this is a caption. Mm -hmm. And so then I see something else over here that says figure two and I am going to box that in. And then I am also going to uh, box in the same thing down here at the bottom, uh, just like it says up here. And this would also be considered a what? A caption. Good job. Good job. So now what I want to do is as I was going over my text feature, sometimes you can go ahead and begin to see what the genre um, of the article is. And so, so far I'm looking at the pictures. Um, I'm not really sure what the genre of this article is. Uh, one picture looks uh, possibly like a nonfiction picture and then the picture down here looks like it could possibly be a fiction picture. So what do you think? You think fiction or nonfiction? Okay, well, let's read to confirm. Uh, did I miss any text features? All right, so then let's go ahead and read to confirm or deny. Uh, I'm not really sure, so I'm not going to mark either way. But let's go ahead and get started reading to confirm or deny. All right, so here we go, tea time. It all began in Boston, uh, which is now a big, busy city in the state of Massachusetts. But back then, Massachusetts was a colony or an area of land ruled by one government. Um, so, wait a minute, what just happened? Exactly, they told us what a colony is. So I am going to box in a colony because I know that anytime they give me the definition of any word, I don't care what it is, I'm going to stop in that moment and grow my brain um, because it was a word that I didn't know. So why not build my vocabulary up? All right, so paragraph two. In 1773, Boston was ruled by the British government. At that time, the British king was King George III. Oh, so that's who this is. So then this is the British king, King George III. Okay, so the British passed the Tea Act, which taxed colonists, people who live in the colonies. What was that? That is correct. They're giving you another word and a definition to grow your brain. So then taxed colonists are people who live in the colonies, okay? So the colonists were angry because the act was not passed by their representatives. They did not think the British had the right to raise the cost of their tea. So on December 15, 1771, colonists dressed as Native Americans dumped three shiploads of taxed tea into Boston's harbor. It was their way of protesting or acting against the British unfair rules. The, what was that? They're giving us another word with the definition? Oh, brain growth time. All right, so I'm going to grow my brain and it's telling me that protesting, and I'm actually connecting protesting to something that we read in class. What am I connecting it to? The one and only Ivan. Good job. Remember they had protested in the one and only Ivan. Good job. Okay, so then paragraph three. The event became known as the Boston Tea Party. Um, now, what was the Boston Tea Party? Oh, okay. It was when they dumped. All right, so let me box all of this in. It was when they dumped it into the harbor. And I'm going to draw an arrow. So that's what the Boston Tea Party was. That's what it was. So this the event became known as the Boston Tea Party. It became a key event in American history. The struggle between the colonies and the British continued. The American Revolution War began soon afterward in 1775. Okay, so 
Now let's go back to talk about our genre. Do we think that it's fiction or non-fiction? Good job. It is non-fiction. And what does non-fiction mean? Non-fiction means real. And then so what is our thinking job when we uh, know that an article is non-fiction and real? Good job. What is the author trying to teach me about tea time? Okay. What is the author trying to teach me about tea time? Okay. So I don't have enough room to jot my big idea down here at the bottom so i'm going to go over to the next page and this is where uh, some of the questions are and so uh, i'm going to actually come back to this and let you guys pause and you'll actually go over the questions for yourself okay so that's what i'll do when we come to the end of this uh, being that there is no friday and we won't be doing questions i'll let you guys answer the questions on your own and then your parents can confirm or deny so but hey let's get into the big idea okay so the big idea let's go ahead and answer the question what is the author trying to teach me about tea time all right so then we'll come over here and say what the author is trying to teach me about tea time is that all right and i want you to pause it and i want you to go back over here and i want you to jot your own big idea and tell me what is the author trying to teach you about tea time all right so you should have paused the video and come up with your own big idea and i am going to write mine and yours should be something similar uh close or similar okay so here we go uh, what the author is trying to teach me about tea time is that the British passed a tea act that was not liked by the colonists. The colonist dressed as a different set of people and dumped all of the tea into the harbor. This was known as what was it known as the Boston Tea Party okay and so now that you've done all of the work I want you to go and uh, I'll flip over here and I want you you know good readers go back and forth I want you to go back and forth and rhyme this video Pause in this video, do the work. You're not in class, so you don't have the pencils, but try your own brain out. Test your own brain, do the work, okay? And so answer questions one, two, and three. You can pause the video and answer the questions. Okay, and then I'll go back to this again so that you can pause the video again and reread that, okay? And then I want you to answer the remaining questions. Okay. All right, and then there's question number five. All right, and then here's question seven and eight. Okay, so I will go back over to our story. 
more time. So this is going to conclude our fourth quarter uh, and our school year. I have really, truly enjoyed you guys. I hope that you've enjoyed the videos and uh, I look forward to seeing you Friday on field day. Bye.